about that. And you can handle it a lot better than me. Because I know for me in the beginning, I used to be stressing. Somebody leave me a battery. Oh, why? Oh, no. What? Welcome back to the Believe in Yourself Network, man. It's your boy, Kev B, your host, Mr. Believe. And today, we're going to be talking about Turo Rental Reviews. And if you like these videos and you like these reviews, man, give me a comment, like, and definitely subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace. I'm just reading my four through one stars because I had about 14 in a year. This is a full year that I went back because you can only go back a year. A full year that I went back and I wanted to look and find those bad reviews. Now, there were some other bad reviews because like I said, 10% of my reviews fall between four and one star. So 70%, five stars. 20%, they don't review at all. 10% falls in between four and one star. And even those four and one stars, everybody doesn't leave a review. They just give you a rating. So the difference between ratings and reviews, a rating is where they give you one star, two star, three star, four star, five star. A review is when they actually give you the rating and leave something afterwards. So what I'm doing is reading the reviews from the four star ratings. And according to here, I got one more four star after this. And then we're gonna be getting into the three, two, and one star. So it's gonna get interesting, man. We're gonna really start to see the people come after me a little bit. But like I said, this is 10%. This is only 10%. All these reviews that are in this episode or in this series, it's only 10% of what you get. But I want to prepare you for that 10% because sometimes as a host, you'll get so caught up on the 10% that you'll forget about the 90% that's going really, really good. You know? So just keeping it all in perspective is a big part of why I'm doing this, man. I'm going to show you guys everything, the good, the bad, the ugly, so that when you step into this, that happens like, yeah, Kev told me about that. Oh, yeah, Kev told me about that. Kev told me about that. And you can handle it a lot better than me, because I know for me in the beginning, I used to be stressing. Somebody leave me a battery. Oh, why? Oh, no, what? Now I've learned to understand you can't please everybody. You know? And I've also learned that with the lane I'm in, you get those people that have the Walmart taste, but the Walmart but Walmart budget, but the Neiman Marcus taste, you know. So it is what it is. But this one I think is a really good review. I, I had to make some adjustments to the vehicle after this review. Like I said, um, in the past, in the last videos that you might have watched, reviews, bad reviews, sometimes are not bad because they give you an opportunity to correct some things to get your car in line. Like, because I don't drive, like this car is my, this is my Nissan Altima. So my Versa, my Jeep, and my Sonic, they're all out right now. So this car in particular, I drive this more often and I drive my Mazda more often. So when those cars come back, I usually don't have, you know, time to drive them. I, sometimes they're just sitting there until the next, the next rental. Like the Jeep came back, uh, I want to say Tuesday and it went out this morning. I didn't drive it at all in between there. So, it's as long as you believe you can't make it, you won't make it. As long as you believe that you can do it, you will do it. 